So a customer brought in a beautiful set of shun knives. This will be the third time I've sharpened them in probably three years. He usually brings them at the end of the year. And so I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, they will be 16 degrees edge angle on each side as uh, suggested by shun. And you can send your shun knives back to shun to be sharpened, but it takes so long, uh, the customers like to bring them to me. And um, I get a lot of repeat customers. So the first thing I'm going to do just to show um, the edge angle is I'm gonna take a marker like this and I'm going to mark it out on each side. And I'm only gonna do this on the first chef knife. I'm not gonna do them all that way. This is more for an example for the camera here. So there we go. And I'm gonna use my AMK 75 sharpener with the holder so I can get a perfect uh, edge angle on the knives for the client. It will be 16 degrees, as I said before. And I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna start off with a 200 grit um, Trizac belt from 3M. They are uh, superb at doing this kind of detailed sharpening fast. So here we go. This is a 200 grit. It's a number, um, I believe it's an A100 Trizac belt. And I'm gonna put that on there first. What I do is I zero out with my digital um, angle finder. Then we're going to mount the knife. Just like that. Okay, then, and we're gonna see what the angle is here. That is 16 degrees. So, I'm gonna do a test here. So I want you to look real close. Let's see if I can get a tight shot. See, I've got black all the way to the edge on the blade. So this is gonna tell me if I got a good edge angle. Hope it doesn't make a liar out of me. Can you see that? 16 degrees all the way across the blade. I did not get a burr, but you can see there's no black on that. So we're gonna finish it here. Let's do the other side. See there? All right, we're right. All right, I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute. So the dogs were going crazy with the squirrels. So I'm looking for a burr now, all the way across the blade. And the good thing about these 3M Trizac, they do not heat up the blade very fast. They will heat it up if you just keep it on there. But I've got a nice burr starting now. Oh, it's a beautiful burr. I wish I had a close-up of it, but I've got a burr all the way across the blade right now. Ooh, slid forward on that. I'm gonna go one more pass. Make sure I have an even. All right, one more the other way. Like I said, this is a 200 grit. It's a worn 200 grit also. I've been using this belt for a while. All right. 
there is no heat on this blade whatsoever. None. So here we go. We're going to go to a worn 400. And I'm only going to do two passes on each side at this point because I know I've got an even blade because I have a burr all the way across there. That was 400 grit. I'm going to go to six. I could probably jump on up to 1200, but I'm going to use six since I had it here. Twelve hundred grit. That burr is so thin now, it's flaking off. And the burr is really going to come off now because this is what I like to do. I take this felt belt and if I can find my little brush, I get the fibers on that felt belt to flip up. Still got the burr on there, but it's coming off. go let me show you one other little trick and I'm gonna turn the camera off because I'm missing my little piece of leather so what I do is I get a little scrap piece of leather like this and I just run it across the blade real gently and it gets that most of that burr off just lightly now next step is the leather belt and I'll use a little bit of compound. It's a little light compound on it. And what I'm doing is old fashioned stropping with the leather. And if you guys notice, I don't ever turn the switch on and off. I've got a foot pedal down here. From Harbor Frey, foot pedal just makes it so much easier turning this on. And since this machine is basically a sewing machine motor. It's just like a sewing machine coming on and off. So it's polished. Now I'm going to do all the other knives and we'll speed that up. But that's my process of sharpening shun knives. Um, never had an unhappy client with shun. And I do some repairs on them if they have nicks and so forth. And I do, I don't know, a dozen shun knives. And here goes the dogs. So, uh, I'm going to stop the camera right here.
So for the last knife, I'm going to do my normal procedure with my dust collection system on and my fans. And you can see how loud it is. Somebody on Facebook says, why do you take the sound out of it? Why don't you leave? We'd like to hear you doing the, the sharpening. Well, I'm going to show you the reason why. whatsoever. You can't see it, but I've got a nice curve all the way across the blade. So I got all of them done. Can't see them really good, but it's a really nice polished edge. I think it's probably better than the factory. Woo. Sharp like a shine should. 